everyone, my name is Bethany and I'm an Usborne Books and More Consultant and I'm here today to show you all the new Halloween books that we have in our collection. I'm so excited to show these to you because they are so adorable and cute and wonderful and kids of all ages will enjoy them. Did, did you hear that? Well, I don't know. Uh, did you guys hear something? Well, never mind. Let me go on. First, we're going to start off with all those little ones in your life. Um, babies, toddlers, um, anyone. I mean, my four-year-old even enjoys these books. Um, so first, we're going to start off with That's Not My Bat. It's one of those um, and then That's Not My Collection. Um, we have a few of these. We have a unicorn one. We have a um, dragon one, a pig one. We have about 30 plus of these. And for the Halloween collection, we have a witch, a monster, and the little cute bat here. So these are um, touchy-feely books. So every page has a texture on it. Um, so we'll start with, that's not my bat. Its tummy is too fluffy. And then you can see here, it has a you can see here it has a fluffy tummy and then you go on through all the pages and this one's nose is too rough and you can feel the, the rough texture and then at the end of the book um, you'll see it says that is my bat um, its wings are so soft and has nice velvety soft wings and um, the book is so beautiful it has a purple metallic binding these gifts make perfect baby shower gifts. I got my first, um, that's not my book, during my first baby shower 11 years ago. So um, they stood the test of time for sure. Next, we're gonna go on to Poppy and Sam's Halloween um, party. I love the Poppy and Sam collections. My four-year-old is obsessed um, with this. these books about um, a brother and sister. Um, cute stories of them living on the farm with their parents, but this one is they are going on a um, It's Halloween and they're gonna go out trick-or-treating, but they cannot find their little dog Rusty, so you kind of go through the pages and try to find the dog cute pictures bright colors and at the end They find Rusty and then they have fun um, doing Halloween activities with their friends and family. How cute is that? Next, we have the Little Coloring Halloween book. This is perfect for the little ones in your life. They have, um, kind of shows you an example on the first page, how you can color the pages. I love how they have um, some of the pictures colored in already to help spark their imagination. We have some candy, some jack-o'-lanterns, some fall leaves. It gives you some prompts. It says here that um, leaves in the fall are red, yellow, and orange. So it can give them an idea of what colors they can draw. Um, we have some animals. And at the end we have a, um, a Halloween monster cake. How cute is that? My four-year-old is very, very, very excited to use this book here. Next, we have the Halloween activity book. This is a wipe clean book. We have a ton in this series. We have a bunch in our home. My um, two younger girls really enjoy using these. This one here has little, um, little mazes here and tracing has some um, numbers that you could trace. Also has some connect the dots inside so they can learn some of their counting and numbers and some more mazes. And just as a FYI right now, some of these are unfortunately out of stock, but they will be back soon. The great thing is we have a new feature on our website where if you go to a book that you like, you click on the um, button that has the envelope. They'll prompt you to put in your email address. And as soon as the books come in, you will get an email right away and then you could order them. But do it quick because they do sell out very quickly. And the next time around when they come back, they might not be back in time for Halloween. 
So hurry up and buy these books as fast as you can. Okay, next we are gonna go on to another activity book. It's one of our magic painting books. Um, these are extremely popular in my home right now. Um, my girls will sit for hours and do these. Um, right now they're working on, my youngest is doing a Poppy and Sam one, and my oldest is doing the unicorn, Unicorns one. And I bought two of these so they could have fun doing the Halloween one. So it's a blank page here that is just white, black and white, comes with a paintbrush, and all you need is water. That's right guys, water, no mess, easy cleanup if it spills, it's just water. And the um, paintings have beautiful colors that show, um, let me show some more samples here. We have some cats here. We have some owls. A frog. And one great feature about this is it has a flap in the back. So when you want to paint a page, let's say you want to do these little witches here, you put this behind it and the water and the colors will not bleed through to the next. And now I'm gonna give you a quick example on how this works. So I got a picture here of a scarecrow and I'm gonna get um, my wet paintbrush. And let's see if I could do this backwards and then you're just gonna paint on the face here and look at the orange paint that comes through well, let me show you a different color and you want to dip your pencil in between so the colors don't bleed so let's see this bird up here let's see so you can see the blue bird right there how cool is this book these you can see why these are so popular and why my girls love them so much. Okay, next I'm gonna go on to some of our sticker books and my girls are obsessed with these as well. I'm gonna start off with this one here. This is the Little Sticker Dolly Halloween. This one's kind of, I guess, for a little bit of the younger crowd because we have one that is for um, a little bit older. Inside, you'll see the girls here that are in their their undergarments. They're getting ready for their Halloween parties. And in the back are the stickers where um, you could decorate and do their costumes. And each page has a different um, page of stickers. They rip out very easily, so you can rip out each page so you don't have to do flipping back and forth. And these books give my girls hours of fun as well. Highly recommend. So this one is um, the one for older kids. It's a little bit bigger in size. Um, this is the Sticker Dolly Dressing Halloween. So very similar to the last one, but this one kind of has a little bit more elaborate pictures and more girls on each page. And then you can see in the back we have the uh, stickers. And these ones are so pretty. They have metallic in them, some silver. Here's some other stickers inside. And I made sure to buy two of these, one for each of them, so they can um, have fun this holiday season. Next is another activity book. I love this book. It is so cute, perfect um, boredom buster for the month of October. There's all kinds of activities. Um, so this one says trick or treating, it's Halloween. Houses have been decorated and children are trick or treating. Can you spot all of these in the picture? So you have to find all these in the picture. Here is another one where you can, um, it teaches you how to draw a cat. Uh, let's see what else I can find here. Here's a little maze. Here's another um, seek and find page. Oh, there's so much stuff here, I love it. Oh, this has um, some portraits and you need to draw spooky faces on them. 
so I highly recommend this one. Next, we have one of our phonics readers. Um, we have a ton of phonics readers. We have collections that are hardbound that have um, like 20 books inside of the phonics readers. We have a few of them. This one is Trick or Treat Parakeet. I love this book. It is so, so cute. Perfect to put you in the Halloween spirit about this parrot um, who is trying to get ready for Halloween and everything is going wrong. She drops her pumpkin for the contest and she tries to mend them all together and then she's, um, here, this is the funny part here. Then she's trying to bake some treats for her friends. She drops the bag of flour and slips on it and then comes to, uh, then her friends are knocking at the door and she comes to the door and everyone thinks she's a ghost and she's like, no, I'm just covered in flour. But then it ends up being her costume, but of course it rains. And then she had, doesn't have a costume anymore. She's like, oh, I might as well just go home. And then she comes to find that her pumpkin that she thought was a disaster earned first prize. So this is a cute, cute story and I highly recommend this. I highly recommend all these books, don't I? Go and buy them all. You should get them all. Um, I didn't buy all the Halloween books. There's still a few more that you can get, um, but these are probably most of them. Um, and lastly, I have one more. It's Billy and the Mini Monsters. This is a cute story that is written kind of in a comic book style that um, helps, grabs readers' attention, gives children a love for reading. Um, Billy and the Mini Monsters doesn't, it's not just a Halloween book. We have a whole series um, for this one. It's Halloween and Billy can't wait for the spooky party. But when he arrives, he discovers Sparkle Boogie and the Apple and the apple bobbing, and trumpet, and a pumpkin, and glob playing guess the body part. Can Billy get his monsters back, or will it be up to Peep to save Halloween? So, a cute story for um, a little bit older readers in your life. I wanted to thank you so much for watching my video today and looking at all the Halloween books that we have. If um, you have another consultant that sent you here, go find her, and she could help you order these books. If um, I am your consultant, then go to my website. I have everything linked down below. And if you don't have a consultant, I would love to be your consultant. I'd love to help you um, order these books or find other books for your children or readers, um, grandchildren. These make great gifts. We obviously have a lot of them in our home. I'm obsessed. I love them so much and I'd love to help you. Um, make a purchase or even host a party to earn these books for free. So all that information is down below. I have my Facebook VIP group where I show a lot of the books and I have fun giveaways and play some fun games. So I'd love to see you there. Stay tuned for more videos of me showing you some of our awesome books. And uh, did you guys hear that? Whoa! <laughs> Did you see that? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Things are getting a little too spooky around here, so I better go. So thank you so much for watching, everyone. <laughs> Bye.